Hello. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, I've come to a conclusion that, um, that people will understand things about our illness. Not our family, not our friends, and definitely not our doctors, not unless they actually listen to us are going through what we're going through. Our body fights against itself. And every day it's a struggle and a fight to be here. We're always done with pain. Fatigue. Control breathing. Our skin hurts to be touched sometimes. I have sort of close my eyes. My vision is blurry. Sometimes I have trouble seeing. And my skin itches. Um, oh, that's because I have sarcoidosis in my liver. And I have sarcoidosis in my lungs. So it makes it hard for me to breathe. And if it's really hot in my place or outside, it's like someone's holding a pillow over my face, trying to suffocate me. And some days are worse than others. Besides this, I have PTSD, depression, anxiety very bad, and I was told the other day my illness, sarcoidosis, is a joke. Which I'm pretty sure a lot of us were told of that or were faking. It's hard for family members, doctors to understand what we go through. Because they're not going through it. We are. And why should they understand it when a lot of our doctors feel the same way or don't listen to what we're going through or tell us that sarcoidosis doesn't cause pain or we wouldn't have the problems we're having if we weren't obese. Well, we're obese because we were put on prednisone. We deal with a lot. Sometimes it's too much for me to even deal with. Where I just want to throw in the towel and not deal with it anymore. But that's not something I can do. It's not something that God will let me do. So I must keep fighting for my family, my friends, and just keep this in mind. None of us has promised tomorrow. We don't even know what tomorrow will bring. And we don't know if we or our loved ones will be here. So yes, I may say I love you way too much. Someday, I won't be here. And then you won't hear it. And I say it a lot because I want my loved ones and my friends to know that they're loved. That, you know, I care about them. And I don't know what they're going through. I don't know if they're going through a dark time. My best friend that was like my little sister. I didn't know... The last time I talked to her would be the last time I talked to her. And I told her I loved her. Which I do. I still do. But that was the last time I got to talk to her. As sarcoidosis and lupus patients, we deal with a lot. We, as soon as we become sick, 
A lot of times we lose loved ones and friends. Or we get mistreated by the ones we trust and love. And that sucks. So we have to be there for each other. And if you need someone to talk to, I'm here. You can even find me on Facebook. We deal with a lot. And there's a lot going on in our world right now. And before we just had to be scared of getting a cold or a flu that could kill us. Now when we go outside of our homes or if we have people that come in our homes, we have to be worried about the coronavirus. It's scary time. So just make sure that your friends and loved ones, they know that you love them. And just because you say I love you doesn't, you know, it's not a negative thing. It doesn't make you any less of, of a man. Like it doesn't make us any more of a woman when we say it. It's important for people to know. Like I said, you don't know what anyone's going through. Unless they tell you. A lot of people think that baking and that our illness is a joke when it's not. It's called an invisible illness for a reason. You can't just look at someone and know that they have this. There's a lot of invisible illnesses out there. Just like mental illness, you can't really look at someone and know. There's sometimes you can tell depending on their behavior or whatever, but usually. Alright, well... Hopefully you guys are having a pain-free day or night and you stay safe. You and your family and friends stay safe from the coronavirus. Alright, God bless you guys. Bye.